NPM workspaces. What are they and how to initialize a React application within the NPM workspaces? My name is Anton. Welcome to my coding channel. So NPM workspaces, what they are and why would we need them? Due to the official NPM documentation, NPM workspaces are a set of tools to manage several web applications within a single route. This in turn allows us to place all the web applications under a single Git repository, which basically means creating a monorepo. And this is what we are going to do in this video. We are going to explore how to apply the NPM workspaces in order to build a client-server application using a monorepo strategy. So let's get started. First of all, we need to make sure our system has met the requirements. We will need Node.js and NPM installed on our system. My system does have this. If you don't have Node.js, you should install it before proceeding. Now, at this point, you would probably want to switch to a directory where you store your coding projects. I will just create a new folder for our project right here in my home directory and change to it. Now, the next thing we should do is to initialize the NPM with the defaults. Ok, from now it would be easier for us to work within an IDE. So let's open our favorite IDE, in my case it is Visual Studio Code. Let's tweak our packages on a bit. First of all, we want it to make private and respectively we can delete all the fields in this file. We can delete the name as well, but uh, I will leave it just for reference. The only thing I will do is to add a scope to the name. But as I have just said, I don't think it would affect anything. What we will need here is the workspaces field. It is an array that contains the path to the workspaces. Usually it is done with a while card like this. But since we are going to create the client server application, not uh, some package for publishing to the npm registry, I would prefer our workspaces folder to be called just apps. Well, alright, and that's basically it to that to what we need to do to configure our NPM workspaces uh, project. What we really should do now is to initialize the Git repository here. Let's quickly add git ignore file and ignore node modules which will eventually appear in our root folder. Ok, so now we are ready to make a commit. Now, the next thing we will want to is to initialize our client application on React. For this, we will first make our actual directory for workspaces, change to it, and from here we can just apply the create React app script as usual. Let's name our future application client, apply the plain npm explicitly, and also we will want the TypeScript. Ok, our application has been successfully initialized. Now we want to really integrate it to our 
npm workspaces for this we must make some steps first we are going to remove the log file and the node modules folder from here next uh, let's update the json file well just to add the scope to our uh, name of the of this application so we are sure we are not going to have naming conflicts with the npm registry and now we will switch to the project root folder clear this screen and just run npm install All right, so we can see that the node modules has appeared in our root folder and the root package log.json. There are also a couple of vulnerabilities here. These vulnerabilities come from the create react app package of the current version. I will skip them from now because when I run the npm audit fix, it doesn't solve the problem. And when I run it with the force flag, it makes things even worse. The number of vulnerabilities is higher than 27. If you know some quick way to fix this, please write in comments. If you're watching this video from the future, this problem is hopefully solved. Okay, so let's quickly commit our changes now. The next thing we would want to do is to start the application. For this we can find an appropriate script in our client package.js. The question is how do we run the scripts from the npm workspaces? There are two ways. The first one is very straightforward. For this we will just switch to the client folder and the run and, and run npm start from there directly. Okay, we can see our application has compiled and started in the development mode. So that was one of the, of the ways to run the script. Another way we will try out on the test script in the new terminal where we are in our project root by default we will start typing the script as usual but we are going to specify the target workspace pressing a to run all the tests and as we can see, the script is working as expected. So we have tried out the start and the test scripts of our client application. As we could see, they comply very well to our npm scripting convention I introduced in one of my previous videos. The only thing the client application lacks is a script for single test runs. So let's define it now. In our client package JSON, we will add the test CI script. And as its value, we will just reuse the command from the test script, but disabling the watch mode. Let's try out whether it works. We will run it just like we did uh, with the test script. Alright, we see everything is working as expected. Let's quickly commit those updates.
In this video, we have initialized NPM workspaces for a client server project and added a client React application within the workspaces. If you like this tutorial, hit the like button. If you have questions about some of my decisions like choosing React over other front-end frameworks or choosing NPM over other package managers for monorepo or choosing the monorepo strategy itself over the polyrepo, write about that in comments. If some of the topics gains enough attention, I will make a video about it where I will explain the decisions. In future videos on this channel, I will show you how to add a Node.js server within NPM workspaces, how to import the code between the workspaces and many other things. So subscribe to the channel right now in order for not to miss it out. My name is Anton. Don't stop coding. Don't stop growing.